Gramophone. We're here once again, Cedia 2023, with one of our favorite speaker vendors. It's Totem Acoustic out of Canada. And we're lucky enough today, not only to be at the Totem Acoustic booth, but we get to talk to Vince, who's the chief, chief cook and bottle washer of the product development technology that's going on here at Totem. Vince, how are you? Uh, doing very well. Thank you, Joe. Good. You surviving the, the great... show okay? Amazing. Good, we good. We have a fantastic booth, as you notice. It's beautiful. Uh, we not only have uh, our passive systems that we're showing, but we also highlight some of our active products, such as the Arc and Soundbar and the new can play towers also with the arc and that inter-assimilate easily with the subwoofers. Beautiful, we'll tackle that in a yes, minute. In and a minute. first, you wanted to say and something yeah, about the architecture. Absolutely, the architectural is a, is a domain that Totem in the last few years has put a lot of effort into it. Why? Because our speakers don't project and beam. So for architectural work, if things don't beam, obviously, then they disperse energy and work in a very wonderful arrangement. And we're showing here some of our architectural units that are in ceiling. And we like to show the back part first. Right. Why not? An ultra slim for those very difficult locations, hardly two inches deep. A stereo unit, which we'll see the front of in a, in a certain way. And the stereo unit, of course, can accommodate in a large room. Our intermediate IC6 and 8s, which are very slim and can also fit in different locales. And then Cosmo Object, well, they're still very affordable, but really our high performance 6.2s and 8.2s. And these have, if you notice inside, that's why I wanted to show the back part first, have these huge cast frames. And this allows the front cone and spider to move enormously more than other competitive products. This cast frame approach to in-ceiling speakers gives us the ability to have a much more dynamic and open product than most people would believe. And when we look at the front part of them, well, they all assimilate nicely. We have the, of course, the Slim has a very flat face with a great dispersion pattern capability. And this is the intermediate units. Of course, they have pivotable tweeters, but if anyone knows Totem, you don't even have to pivot the tweeters because the off-axis response is so great. And the fabulous 8.2s and 6.2s that have a cone material that we call M-hex, which is stiffer than metal, but plays soft like paper, which is an ideal almost of combination. And our newest entry is this brand new stereo unit that can be used just for stereo in a, as a single unit to play stereo in a room, or by switching the little switch, it can be used in a surround overhead or surround effect speaker. So it can have a double purpose, a very effective. Vince, you really hit the nail on the head. It's not easy from an engineering perspective to bring the consumer the benefits of a metal dome tweeter and of a soft dome tweeter. And I think you guys have done a great job with your tweeter technology. Thank you. It's part of why we enjoy listening to your speakers as much as we do. Thank you, Ray. Enjoy You're welcome. Too. Should we talk about some of the active products yes. you've got? Here on this wall, I want to show you something that's rather exciting. We have an active little display. And usually in a show like this, active displays are not successful. We have great success because our product shines in these noisy environments because it's able to stay face coherent and express itself easily. Yes. So in difficult situations and architectural situations, it's a must characteristic. Okay, good, love it. So we have our little kin amplifiers, one amplifying the little monitor, a soon to be named micro monitor that is astonishing. Okay. It'll be available right before Christmas. Okay. And we have no name for it, but as you can see, it's in a brand new finish, sort of a American walnut finish. And the performance aspect of it, we can maybe do a little short blur via. Sure. And we'll put up. So if you notice, just 
turned up the amplifier. The amplifier yep. is operating via Bluetooth. Yep. And this little kin amplifier produces a crowd close to 100 watts. But the speakers are amazing in their the depth and also the extension that they have. A little monitor such as this generally hardly produces bass, but this one does it in droves. Do you have the subwoofer on right no, now? No, there's no subwoofer. I'm, I'm on amazed. Course. Yeah, and I'm they amazed. and they have this wonderful dispersion characteristic that keeps it stable throughout. Great. So that's and a new, soon to be named little and, speaker. And just to reiterate, this is not a product that's available at this point. At some no. point in the future. At some point in the future. That's fine. And something that is available. Yes. Is of course all the architectural units that we have here. This is called the Kin Solo. And they can be used in twos, threes, fours, and fives, and make an elegant on add-on addition on, in a room. And they're fairly full range, also, you know. And and here is some of our powered products, the Kin Play, and we have moving on to this section. Yep. The Kin Play soundbar. People don't know that it is now can be activated via ARC, okay. which allows for greater flexibility. And, and in, in general, we don't expect a, a speaker like a soundbar to have, again, bass and presence, but this one does. It actually goes down to around 55 hertz and gives you a great sonic picture. So a very advantageous way of getting a two-channel soundbar sounding like much more and it can effortlessly connect to a 10-inch, the 10-inch sub, wirelessly, That's you know, beautiful. and effortlessly. So in an apartment situation where you don't want to be putting wires, Correct. you're going to have a great sounding system because you've got both bottom yes. end and the rest of the range. Yeah, this will offer a great solution for you. And we also show, of course, other product. But one of the greatest subs in the industry, we think, is the Kin Solution sub. Excuse me, the Tribe Solution Sub. I Tribe mean, Solution. The Tribe Solution Sub gives tremendous power. This is a 500 watt module that is incorporated in the same capsule as the two 8 inch drivers. And the results are generally enormously fantastic. Great dispersion, great energy, and you can use them in multiples, of course. And with Vince, the Vince, just to yes. clarify, will that fit into a 2x4 stud bay or no? Uh, we have a unit that fits into it. Okay. You know, the in wall unit of this. You have an in wall version of yes. that. That's of awesome. Course. Yeah, this is for in room use to facilitate. So that's in room, but you've got an in wall similar version. Correct. Love and, it. And then with a little link unit, you can actually interlink two, three, four subwoofers all together via one link to make the connection of even the Tribe Solution sub wireless. You Love know. it. So a very easy add-on to that. So we love doing business with the folks here at Toyota Acoustics, and we love seeing that you're continuing to push the envelope. We are. And in the future, bring us even more products that we're going to enjoy selling. So Vince, thank you for thank taking you very some much, time Joe. with us today. It was a pleasure. And for all of you in Gramophone land, yes, thank you for taking the time to watch this video. More content's coming. All the best. <laughs>